Welcome back. It was an iconic movie in the 80s, the laugh out loud comedy Tootsie. One of my very favorites, the story of struggling actor Michael Dorsey, who transforms himself into Dorothy <laughs> Michaels to get a role on a soap opera, is now a Tony Award winning Broadway musical. The national tour of the show runs through Sunday at the Overture Center. We sat down with actress Peyton Riley, who plays the role of Sandy Lester. this story different than the movie? It's, well, we've, we've modernized it, so we've adapted it to modern day, and uh, I think that was good, because now we're incorporating younger audiences who might not be familiar with the story, but we're also staying true to the original source material, too, so people who love Tootsie, they know what to expect, and they're getting what they want, but then we're also bringing in, you know, jokes about iPhones and, mm -hmm. and things that people, everyone can understand. So I think what's really special about the show is that we've made it a show for everybody. Uh, and then another thing is we've changed in the concept of the movie, he auditions to be in a soap opera and he gets the part and dr by dressing up as a woman. In our show, he pretends to be someone else to get a part in a Broadway musical so we can incorporate a lot of the singing and the dancing through that. And I think that was a brilliant choice and I don't think there was any other way to do it because you expect a certain spectacle from theater and when you come to a show you expect that big, the big dance numbers and like there was just no way of doing it by keeping it in a soap opera setting. And, and this show is all original music. Yeah, it's yeah, by David Yazbek. It's songs you recognized that yeah. were written for this show. Oh well, my song in particular, it will get stuck in your head. For so that they did How a really good job. How many words are in that song? I don't know, three million. It's <laughs> ridiculous. And the problem really isn't the first time I do it. I sing the song, I sing it really fast, and then it's over. Then I got to go back out there and do it a second time and a third time. And don't you dare start singing the wrong one because you will start to be like, wait, didn't I just say that? Which, which one am I doing right now? And, <laughs> and it gets a little confusing after 500 performances. And Sandy's the a great character. Come on. Did you see <laughs> did you see the movie? Yes, of course. You, yeah, it's okay, a classic. So is, I'm always fascinated by that. Mm -hmm. Do you want to make Sandy your own or do you feel like you have to keep her to close to the original movie character? I think you find inspiration, Gar. right? So Terry Gar's brilliant. So you watch that and you say, wow, I really like the way she did this. And it, and it is a specific character, but you have to make it your own or else you're not a very good actor, right? If you just go out there and you do what someone else did, then you're not really being true. So uh, I, you take inspiration, but really actually the character that inspires me the most when I play Sandy is a mix between my own mother and uh, the character Elaine in Seinfeld. I think <laughs> that if you notice, every time the apartment comes on for Tootsie, it does feel like a sitcom. Mm -hmm. And I really like the way Elaine is still in love with Jerry in some way their exes and she just pops into his apartment and starts complaining. That's the vibe that I really wanted to capture every time that Sandy enters the apartment. You've been on the road with this show for two years yeah. and next week is your last week. How does that make you feel? It's so complicated because we are, I'm going to start crying. No, oh my goodness. Don't cry. Well, it's, we're just so, these characters are so special to us and what a what a blessing for us to be all together and go out on the road, especially after a pandemic where we weren't really sure if we were going to be able to do this ever again. And a lot of us were sitting on the news of this job, not knowing if we were ever going to do it. And so it's just been absolutely wonderful to see the country and spread joy and laughter to everyone in America. Just trying to soak up as much of this Tootsie goodness as we can get and we're so thankful to be here and share the story. Yes. But you don't have to see the movie to love this show. No, no, you don't. And I think that's what's really good about it. It's its own, it's its own show, but it, like I said earlier, fans of the movie are gonna come and they're gonna see the story that they love. There are some lines in there that are so funny. Oh my gosh, what about, there is a, a section of the show where no one says anything at all and we have timed it and the audience laughs for two minutes straight <laughs> in waves <laughs> and no one says anything. It's just, it's joy. The show is pure joy. Well, congratulations on a spectacular run. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Break a leg tonight and enjoy these final performances in Madison. We sure will. Thank you. Two years on the road. Yeah, and you were saying, you saw it, you said it was so, yeah. laugh out loud it funny. Was, yeah, it really is. And it's, that's what we need and right it run, now. And it runs through Sunday at yeah. Overture. Go to overture.org. There's tickets available.
and we'll